are we likely to get a pill or a vaccine that can actually reverse aging in our lifetime when i say lifetime i mean, mean the next 20 to 30 years uh well i certainly hope so um i don't have a crystal ball but uh, we are working here in boston on taking this reprogramming technology the one that i showed for today for the eye and in the next two years we hope to treat the first patient with glaucoma to see if we can restore vision and so yeah i mean that that's just one example of at least 20 companies that are working on medicines uh that should if it all works out slow and perhaps even reverse aging so if it doesn't happen in the next 30 years something must have gone terribly wrong right and this epigenetic programming that you talked about how often can it be done can it just be done once in your lifetime or can you do it repeatedly yeah that that's the big question that we're working on we've only done it once uh but maybe you can do it 10 times maybe 100 this is a really interesting question i i think that we can do it multiple times there's no reason why i could think that it couldn't be done repeatedly so just you know imagine with me for a second that we could find a pill or a gene therapy a virus that would do what we did to the mouse's eye but throughout the whole body and uh, we've engineered this already to be turned on with a pill we use a molecule in those mice called doxycycline which is just an anti antibiotic um it's not the fact that it's an antibiotic that's important it's just a molecule that we can give to the mice as as a drink and uh it turns on the genes so you one day maybe you go to your doctor you have an injection and you get a pill for 3 weeks you get rejuvenated throughout your body you get better memory better eyesight better healing maybe even look better and then 10 years later you come back and have another course of that drug for 3 weeks but and then you just keep repeating <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> 